Hey guys, this is Elise. I'm a therapist and wellness coach. Welcome back to COVID-19 Mental Health Chats. Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Natalie Kuznetsov, who is the founder of Disaster Response Assets Network. She has been a nurse since 2009, involved in disaster relief since 2010, and is a survivor of the Northern California firestorms in 2017. She has transformed her experiences toward good, and today will give us some perspective, as well as true to the intent of this video channel, a couple practical tools too. So for our first question, Natalie, welcome. So glad to have you here. I noticed that your organization is wonderful to provide education as well as hands-on volunteer experts. Can you give us a little education today on what PTSI is and how it relates to what people may be experiencing in these times of coronavirus? First of all, thank you, Liz, for having me. I'm really excited talking to you about this. I think it's very important to not refer to post-traumatic stress as a disorder and refer to that as an injury. Because in the same way as you can sustain a physical injury, you can also sustain a mental injury. Mm -hmm. And by using the word disorder, what we deliver often, uh, what we sometimes deliver, the message that we deliver with the word disorder is the fact that we may discourage uh, frontline responders of actually going and seeking treatment for that. Mm -hmm. Because the repeated exposures to stress that we often sustain as frontline responders can result in physical manifestations as well. Things like repetitive thinking, things like isolation, and even maybe some sleep disturbances. So those are all things that need to be addressed. And referring it to, the, uh, to, to that as an injury as opposed to a disorder is gonna encourage hopefully people to seek treatment. Mm, yes, that does sound so compassionate to have a language like that. Can you share with us maybe what three practical and easy steps are for people to self-care or to help others that might be suffering these symptoms of post-traumatic and current traumatic symptoms of personal injury? Yes, absolutely. There are a few things that all of us can do and prepare for them ahead of time to when we feel stressed and something is happening it's really good to write themselves down those three things ahead of time before this happens so you can go and refer to it afterwards. The first thing, figure out what's your favorite food. Because once you consume the favorite food, it's gonna make you feel back into your body and it's gonna give you that sense of comfort. Number two, create some sort of a movement. Anything that works for you, whether it's a walk in a park, grabbing your dog, going with them for a park, doing a downward dog or a yoga position, or just simple stretching, whatever works for you. And finally, identify yourself a peer or two, people that you can relate to, people that understand what you're going through, and pick up the phone and give them a phone call or meet them in person while still maintaining the isolation standards. Mm, those sound so accessible and non-intimidating. Those feel like steps that anyone can do on their own. Thank you so much for that. If you could share one single message for everyone going through coronavirus right now, what would it be? I think that the most important thing right now that we can do is to not isolate. Remember, we're all in this together and remember to support each other as a community. Mm -hmm. Natalie, thank you so much for everything that you're doing, that you have been doing, that you created your organization to help in times like this. And thanks for joining me on this mental health chat. So everyone, um, if you're interested in more information, I'm going to post a link below of uh, her organization and the educational information that are there in more depth, as well as their disaster relief network. And um, comment, like, subscribe, let me know what else you'd like to hear. And I'll do my best to get information that'll help you all. Thanks. And see you next time.